in the last video we were able to set up our profile uh, image using the camera or get a new profile image using the camera now we want to be able to create a new image from the share activity so if we click on them in the middle navigation and we go over to the photo tab open the camera we want to be able to take a photo and then navigate to the next activity and share it so we're going to start in photo fragment again and we're going to go down into our on activity result method here and now we're going to write the part in here where if it is in fact the root task because that's remember how we differentiate from whether we're coming from the edit profile or we're coming from share activity um, and ready to actually share a new photo so I'm going to copy this here paste it up here and we're just going to change a few things uh, instead of going to account settings we're going to go to next activity and instead of that it's going to be selected image and we can get rid of this because we're not coming from a profile fragment and we don't want to finish because we do want to be able to navigate backwards if we want to change the photo that we want that we're about to share uh, but I think that's generally about it. So let's go over to next activity. And now we need to write the logic for actually retrieving that. So I think it's, uh, where where is it here? Right, so currently inside the share button, there's only one way to share a new image and it's through a new image URL that you've chosen uh, from the gallery. So let's see here. And that, that's where we get it inside this set image in, uh, method here. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I actually wanna create uh, a global intent instead of using a local intent. So I'm just going to copy the uh, the intent declaration, delete the intent object declaration. Now we're going to go up into variables and just say intent intent and we can make it private. And now let's go back into our set image method and now we have a global intent. And the reason I did that is because we're going to need to check for an extra in this method and we're also going to need to check for an extra in this method. So making it global just makes things easier. So uh, let's write some logic. So we're gonna have two cases. And let's go up to do the first one up here. So the first one is if the intent dot has extra and that's gonna be get string r dot string. And this one will be the new, or I guess the uh, selected image. So that's the kind of case one. And now for our case two, it will be if it's a selected bitmap. So if it came from the camera. So this is, this is basically, came from the gallery, came from the camera. Two, two different cases. And if it came from the gallery, then we just set our image, actually I don't even, this is already actually uh, made up down here. So if it came from the gallery, we just do the same thing we had been doing in the past. We get the string extra, and then we set use the universal image loader to set the image. But if, uh, if it's not coming from the gallery, if it's coming from the photo, we're getting a bitmap. So let's go up and create that global bitmap, just like we did with the image URL. So private bitmap bitmap and import bitmap library. And let's go down here and say bitmap equals intent get parsable extra. Nope, not parsable array, parsable extra, just like we did before. And then get string r.string dot uh, selected bitmap. And it's going to be mad. Oh, it's not mad. It's just letting me typecast it to a bitmap, which is weird. Usually you have to uh, tell it that you have a bitmap. So I'm going to put that there anyway. And let's log it and say we got new bitmap. I'm not going to print out the bitmap because it'll basically just be gibberish anyway. And for this one, I'll do got new image URL. And for this, we can actually print out the image URL because it will be something meaningful. This would just be gibberish if we printed it out. So I'm just going to just going to do nothing. And so now we want to actually set the image. So set image bitmap and then just pass the bitmap and that's it. So now let's go up into our share button here and let's write those two different scenarios again. So I'm going to take this logic, copy it, go up here, go just below the caption, paste that in and let's delete that and let's delete that. And if, we had our regular situation, we can just post, paste that in there. And this is if we have the bitmap. In that case, we can pass a null value here and then just pass the bitmap there. So that should actually do it. I think that's all we need to do. Let's give it a run and take a look. Okay, we'll go to share activity and go to the photo tab, open the camera. And I'm gonna take a picture of this new Samsung that I just bought. Okay, and no image. Okay, so it 
it took the photo, but we didn't get our image displaying here. Uh, the only explanation for this is if inside the photo fragment, I, yeah, okay, that's why. So this needs to be selected bitmap. I gave it the wrong uh, extra name, that's why. So let's run that again. And we'll open up the log this time. Let's go to the share activity. Go to the photo tab, open the camera. Take a picture. Cool, there we go. So it's actually setting the image successfully. We have the image obviously, and everything is working as we expected. Maybe we'll just double check to make sure everything else is working correctly. Also, let's go back and just choose a random gallery image, hit next. Okay, it's selecting the correct image. Now maybe let's go quickly back to the profile. Edit my profile, change photo. Uh, just choose one at random again and see if it changes my photo. It does. Cool. So everything is definitely working the way it's supposed to. So in the next one, there's a few things I want to do. I want to um, change the way that this, this uh, navigation animation is. So I might do that. Um, but other than that, maybe we might actually work on sharing these photos. So if you select an image and go to next and then actually hit share, uh, then we'll actually work on sharing that and uploading it to Firebase and adding it to your photo, your photo gallery, your, your profile's photo gallery. So that they'll show up right here. So I'll see you guys in that next video.